Alright guys, time to do an EDC video. It's been a little while and uh, we are here at Costco and uh, um, we're out and about with the family. Thought we'd do a little EDC video for you. So this is going to be the family EDC. So we'll start off with uh, Doc Tech Mom. Show us what you got. Right pocket. Okay. I have my Spider Co. Delica. Delica 4, let's see it. Sweet blade. As you can see, we got a Spider Co. Sharp Maker right there. We just picked that up today, so we're gonna do some sharpening. Okay, cool. And then I have my Prion 1. Four sevens, Prion 1. Sweet. Okay. I have my Leatherman style, which I love, and I use it almost on a daily basis. Yeah, that's probably your most used part of your EDC right there. That's the style CS. It has the blade tweezers, like a little flat screwdriver uh, with a, uh, a file, and then Spydeco or uh, Leatherman's awesome scissors. Okay. Then in my purse, I have some pepper spray. Okay, pull it out. Let's let's see what the pull it out of the sheath. Now you keep that in your purse. That's purse carry. This is the uh, Saber Red, the NRA version. And then you got your phone and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, my phone, my diapers. phone, diapers, wet wipes, water bottle. Chapstick. Actually, you carry that water bottle everywhere, huh? This is an outdoors product thing there. Okay, hey, uh, hey Logan, Logan, you want to come up and do your EDC? Come on, dude. Don't step on that though. Okay, Doc Tech, son. Pull out what you got. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What is this one? The Sparkle Ladybug. Okay, that's your ladybug. And that is dull as heck, huh? How come it's still so dull? What you been doing with it? Stuff, yeah, you are whittling wood with it, uh -huh. making swords. Okay, what's this? Tell us what kind of flashlight that is. It's a Phoenix EO5. It's your Phoenix EO5? Cool. And that's just a single operation flashlight. It's a floodlight. I think your battery's dying, dude. Yeah. That's a, a single operation flood. Phoenix EO5. Okay. What's this? Uh-oh, trapped your elastic band in it. What's that, Lou? It's, um... Your Leatherman Squirt P4? Mm hmm Cool. And this one is the pliers version? Go and open it up. Awesome, man. Spring-loaded pliers. Let's see. Sweet. I love those things. Cool. All right, that's Doc Tech Sons EDC. Okay, Doc Tech Mom. Okay, so what do you got in your pouch? I'm pretty sure you got five dollars, right? Yeah. How come you got what? What? What makes you have five dollars? Because I lost a tooth. Let's see it. Mm. Oh, lost your first tooth, huh? So the Tooth Fairy came, gave you five bucks. Mhm. Mm so that's what you got in there. It's just your birthday in a couple weeks. Mhm. Mm Cool. Dad, did Dad order you something on the internet today? I think uh, there's one other person besides the family that knows what I got, and that's Patriot 36. So say, say thank you, Patriot 36. Thank you, Patriot 36. <laughs> because he inspired me to buy it. Okay, my turn. Okay. So uh, in my uh, mag pocket here, I've got my uh, Glock, ten, uh, Glock 26 mag. Back left pocket, I've got my wallet, got my uh, paracord bracelet. See, that's everything on that side. Oh, and then I have my uh, my uh, phone, which is the uh, the X2 droid. And then I've got. I usually have my keys, but they're in the van running right now, or else we'd all be dead because <laughs> it's stinking hot today. How how? What's the temp? 80s. It's at 98. 98 degrees. And then I have my uh, Victorinox Pioneer, is what I'm carrying today. This is the larger version of the Cadet. The only thing different, and let me uh, pull open the... The only thing different than the Cadet is the Cadet has a file. This has a, uh, like a, a, a sharpened awl or a punch. So that's that. That's my EDC blade. I've got uh, just a bunch of change. And then uh, 
my concealed carry today is the Glock 26 riding in the King Tuck King Tuck holster right there and then my uh, new EDC blade oh oh and then uh, my flashlight is the uh, Prion 2 so it's the larger version of the Prion okay so this is the two AAA and this is the single AAA DocTech moms it's got the titanium bezel and uh, cap there and then my newest EDC item is the Microtech SOCOM Elite that is my uh, brand new EDC blade Things freaking sweet guys it's got the uh, let's see if it'll show up the S35 VN steel there's the blade serial number 1020 made in February of this year got the glass breaker on the end it's got the carbon fiber inserts and the aluminum handle you guys will see uh, some more of this knife here very 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 soon but that's the uh, SOCOM Elite so there's the DocTech family EDC there's mine DocTech moms DocTech son and uh, soon we'll have DocTech daughter <laughs> she'll have an EDC here so in a couple weeks we'll show you her EDC but Oh yeah guys, and also I forgot to show you um, my EDC bag that I usually carry. It has my Mora companion on the side. It usually has my Phoenix LD20 on the side here, but uh, I left it on my review table in the house, so it's not with me today. But I do have the, uh, let's see, the spot, my black diamond spot here. So it's got that as a flashlight. I have my uh, titanium Leatherman. Leatherman Charge, my titanium Leatherman Charge. We've got a couple uh, nitrile gloves, some first aid stuff, wet wipes, uh, a couple books. There was a right in the rain thing in there. I've got some paracord down there at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right down there at the bottom. My gloves on the top front. This has just got like hygiene, a couple band-aids, just some quick, quick, uh, quick stuff. I got some off spray pen there's my um, my uh, pepper spray which is the uh, the saber saber defense stuff or saber tear gas pepper spray headphones I've got a pre on one myself and then uh, chapstick just some other things anyway guys if you guys are looking uh, to see what's in this I have done another review oh I also have in the back compartment here I've got my LCP with an extra with a spare mag in it so anyway guys that's a uh, doc tech family EDC today out here on a very 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 hot day this is our Costco it is stinking hot today so anyway guys let's see zoom out on my ugly mug here anyway guys thanks for watching um, don't forget to subscribe in the upper left hand corner of the screen so you guys can have uh, more uh, videos in the future and also uh, don't forget to rate and comment and favorite the video share it it does help the video out and it helps our channel grow and as always guys thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video see ya and as a little bonus guys uh, this is a couple things I picked up today we've got some uh, federal HST 147 grain ammo we've got some hundred or uh, let's see 230 grain 45 plus P these are both going to be tested on the channel here very soon we're gonna be shooting these through hog heads so look for some more HST testing I did pick up a Spyderco sharp maker today so uh, we'll see how this goes I'm gonna be doing a review on this as well and then uh, Dr. D here's your uh, Glock 17 mags that I picked up for you today so so uh, anyway, you got four mags coming at you. So if you see this video before I see you this weekend, those are your mags, dude. How's it going, guys? I've been getting the question a lot from my subscribers as to whether I prefer the Generation 4 or the Generation 3 Glock. And I figured I'd make a quick video answering that question. I placed the Generation 4 and the Generation 3 into two different categories. Uh, the Generation 3 I place in the perfect prepper uh, pistol category. Uh, meaning that um, if you are, uh, you know, the sole purpose of you buying that gun 